President Obama has yes. called you, I believe, a few times over the past year for help. That's cool. Uh, what, what's, what have you guys discussed? Well, he's got a, a new initiative called My Brother's Keeper, and uh, we want to help young black men become better people. Uh, but, you know, most of the time he calls me just because uh, just because I, I knew him before he was the president. Right. You actually, yeah. I, I remember reading, yeah. uh, I may be wrong, but I yeah. got it yeah. many years ago, and yeah. you interviewed him when yeah, he was... Yeah, and that was one of the coolest yeah. things in my life. And the thing is, he's, he's one of the most brilliant people I've ever met in my life. And, you know, the first time I met him, I was really intimidated because he's brilliant. He was running for Senate. And I remember when I left his place, I was with Mike Wilbon, one of my great friends. I said, this guy's special. This guy is very special. I didn't know he was going to be the president that quick, but I knew I was around somebody who had it together. Uh, so you interviewed him mm -hmm. uh, not not too long ago, yeah. and it, it was a really uh, solid interview. But I'm watching it or rewatching it the other day, and I'm like, Charles seems nervous. Well, well, first of all, it, it's so funny. Like, it, look at your crew. We had like four or five people, and we're waiting. And I'm trying to let make them relax and trying to relax myself. I said, is anybody in here nervous other than me? They're like, dude, I'm scared to death. Because it's not often for he's the president of the United States. Right. For you taking out time of your business schedule, I really appreciate it. I'd only do it for TNT and, and uh, NBA basketball because uh, I'm a big fan. But anytime I'm around, around him, he makes you feel comfortable because he's a normal guy. Uh, but it's pretty cool to interview the President of the United States. That's one of the coolest things I've ever did in my life. Tiger Woods. Uh -huh. I, I know you guys were close yeah. for a while. Yeah. What happened? Uh, uh, I don't know what happened, to be honest with you, Graham. Uh, I love him like a brother. I wish him the best. Um, uh, you know, I think when, when all this stuff happened in his life, he went in a different direction. But, but I, want, I want nothing but the best for him. Uh, we were great friends for a long time, and I wish him nothing but the best. And uh, and I think this back thing might be good for him, to be honest with you. Why? Why? Because, number one, it, clearly he came back too soon. Clearly. Now he doesn't have to worry about the PGA, and he doesn't have to worry about the Ryder Cup. So this is going to give him, like, the season doesn't start again to January or February. Now he can just rehab and not rush back. Because there's no doubt in my mind he came back for the British Open too soon and trying to win the PGA. And he probably wanted to make the Ryder Cup team. We got August, September, October, November, December to do nothing but rehab. Uh, and then the season starts again in January. And I think he'll be, I'm hoping he uses this as a good thing. What do you think of him today? I think he's a guy who's put a lot of stress on his body. You know, he's had some major injuries. And he's digging a golf club in the ground. Uh, your body, at some point, is going to give in. But like I say, he came back too soon. And I'm hoping he uses this time to rehab his back uh, and come back strong next year. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com.